not get sunburned because we've made it this long. Yeah, well, I'm trying. <laughs> someone insisted that we film outside, so this might be might be the end for me. So let us get you up to speed. We are in Key West, Florida right now, but what we need to fill you in on is how we got here. We started our grand journey on Sunday, April 18th. So we wound up leaving a day earlier than we initially planned to. Um, and we headed right to Virginia. Uh, it was called Colonial Beach. So not too far from the Maryland line at all. Uh, we wound up staying at Colonial Beach Brewing there. The people were great. It was our first harvest host experience. It's a really nice spot. They gave us a 30 amp hookup, which is very nice of them. Uh, a lot of harvest hosts, you just have like a big open lot, uh, which is also nice, like a nice winery or something along those lines. But uh, this one was a tighter, small spot behind them. But the, having the 30 amp plug was awesome. That was really, that was really cool. Yeah, it was a nice introduction. Um, so yeah, we were with them for the night. We hit the road early the next day and we headed down to um, South Carolina. Hinnant Family Vineyards, I believe is the name, and that was our second harvest host. So there it was like full on our own, no hookups, no yeah, nothing. Yeah, that was a more true to nature harvest host. So if you're looking into it, you can check the link in our bio, uh, you get a little discount, you know, we get a little kickback, which is nice. Um, that was more what you're gonna expect. It was a big open vineyard. Uh, we parked on like their grassy area. There was no hookups, nothing like that. Um, but we are very self-contained in our RV, so we have bathroom shower, we have tanks, you know, for whatever we need, solar panels, the, the works. Um, we can run the fridge on propane if we want to. So it was no problem for us. And it was nice and cool at night, so we didn't need AC. Which one, was, one fellow traveler? Yeah, there was one other Harvest Host member there in an Airstream, and they were not even near where we were, which was, you know, nice if you want a little seclusion. It was a great spot. We definitely recommend it. Uh, when you stay at these places, it's important, um, if you're able to, to participate. I know that you pay the 50 bucks uh, membership fee. Um, to join Harvest Host, and then when you're at these places like breweries, wineries, farms, you know, try to buy a little something. Even if you know if you don't drink, they sell snacks and stuff like that too. Uh, but it was a great spot, and that was day two. Yeah, and it's about 45 minutes away from Charlottesville, yeah. um, so we didn't have the opportunity to really go into like the major cities, which I know we like to do. But um, we just kind of stuck close by. If you hear planes right now, um, it's because. We're in QS, like I said, near a naval base, so they've been flying around all morning. Uh, and Devin keeps looking at Eve, who's yes, I'm watching our dogs wandering. Sneak around, um, to find food and stuff. So yeah, day two, and then day three, we went to Savannah Oaks Campground, uh, right outside of Savannah, Georgia. That was not a harvest host, obviously, uh, but we stayed there. It was our first time being able to really like have hookups other than electrical, right? We had um, what was the hookup? Well, we had electric and water and there, water. no sewer. Um, we called them last minute. We were going to stay at a harvest host, but that harvest host would have added like a total of three extra hours to our trip from the hour and a half off route to the hour and a half back on route. Um, so we figured for, I think it was like 33 bucks, we might as well just stay there instead of taking such a long detour um, just to bring us back. Yeah, it was super nice, very traditional, very like what you think of when you think of Savannah. Um, also near, I think, Air Force and Navy. So there was a lot of jets flying over there too. I guess something I didn't realize about the South is all the military bases. Um, so yeah, that was super cool. And then uh, from there, we were gonna go to Cape Canaveral and stay at a campground there to catch the SpaceX launch, but they wound up um, scrapping that until Friday. So we figured while we were not too, too far from Evan's mom, um, which was like our kind of like 
intention with this trip and our, our stopover before following through to Key West, uh, we just kind of like hauled ass right there to her, if you will. So it was yeah, the longest stint of the trip and yeah, it was- Like five and a half hours. It was a long, a yeah. long route. Yeah. Uh, we got in super late, probably like, well, super late, nine or 10, but still, you know, we hadn't driven the RV in the dark before this time. We hadn't driven the RV in the rain before this time. So we're kind of doing everything on this trip, if you will. And uh, stayed with them up until Monday morning of this week that we're currently in. Uh, so we stayed with them and then headed out to Key Largo. So that was, so after a little bit like a weekend, just to relax and, and do We were there and whatnot. Wednesday through Monday we left. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. Then we had, we went down to Key Largo. We were going to go right to Key West. We figured we'd also break up that trip and do a night in Key Largo and then the rest of the time in Key West. Uh, the Key Largo campground was great. That was full hookups. That was our first time at a full hookup site, uh, which was awesome. We took really long showers. <laughs> yes. It, it was cool. Yeah. It was a nice way to, to help not have to do a three hour drive, which ultimately the next day we had to do anyway because there was a ton of traffic going from Key Largo to Key West because of uh, there was a major accident, construction, all that. So I'm, just, I'm glad we left a day early anyway because it would have been even longer drive had we left directly from Del Rey. 100%. And, um, you know, it kind of gave us an extra day, a little bit of leniency. We actually now are at Boyd's uh, campground in Key West and we pulled in, had it taken us as long as it did. Uh, I told Evan just like check with the front as soon as we got here to see if they had extra day available because by that point it was like three or four. We had already like lost time, all that stuff. So yeah, essentially lost out on a day. Yeah. So we extended. So now we are supposed to be leaving here today, which is, is Friday. Uh, so we extended until tomorrow. So we will be here an extra day. We're just going to take it easy because like last night we had like our big dinner and all that stuff planned, which is, you know, something we usually like to do, go out, explore, support local, all that stuff. Um, so today we're, I think we're going to go to like a seafood market, get some fish, stuff like that, grill, chill, take it easy. For anybody who is a fellow new camper, we removed the plastic strip that goes up here where the awning would go, and now we're putting in a little light strip. We'll put a link in the bio for which one fits, and it fits perfectly. almost perfectly. Now we're gonna turn it on. Sophie's in the window for the grand illumination. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. Oh my God, Sophie looks so perfect. Can you clip to the song of, I got the power. It does fit perfectly, but I have no idea what we're gonna do and we have to leave tomorrow, so I feel like I don't wanna take it down. But I don't know what to do with the end part. Unless we tie it off inside, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what to do. What? So we'll, we'll let you know what we decide to do with it tomorrow. Sweet. And further things to note, we shouldn't have waited until last night to do this. Yes, it's probably a first night task and not a night before we're gonna undo a task. not get sunburned because we've made it this long. 
you know, I'm trying. <laughs> someone insisted that we film outside, so this might be might be the end for me. We have a nice little Instagram yeah. wall. So now, I think we're all caught up. So I think moving forward, yeah. the goal is to continue to film in real time as opposed to doing these really long recaps. Uh, I'm, just, you know, we probably threw up some photos and whatever just to get you to where we are now. Um, but we'll keep up with it, hopefully. Yeah. Moving forward, uh, so it'll be more real time. And we'll do a little, you know, subscribe, like the channel, hit the bell to get notified when we post new videos. Uh, we'll do a little bit of who we are in yeah. a separate video. It'll be its own thing. And uh, a few fun things we ran into on this trip. Yeah. Unexpected yeah. things. Um, and then, you know, what you have to look forward to moving forward is um, we are going to go back to Evan's mom tomorrow and stay with her until Monday. Then we are heading to a state park in Florida. And we are driving up to Hilton Head for two days. We're going to celebrate our third wedding anniversary there. Um, and then we have one, if not two, TBD, uh, Harvest Host on the way back. So that will get us back like right before the three-week three -week mark um, and right before Mother's Day to probably celebrate with my family. So yeah. that's it. Bye. <laughs>